Hello everybody, welcome to another video, two minute revision on structure and form in the poems from the Power on Conflict cluster. To see the full detailed analysis of each poem, check out the playlist on AQA Power and Conflict Poetry. But this is for quick revision, and today we're going to take a look at the charge of the Light Brigade. Now, what can we say about the form and structure? Well, the first thing is that in terms of form, this poem is a ballad. It has a refrain, a chorus, which is repeated throughout, and it has the idea of it being almost like a song which would be memorized, and, and it covers an important message, just as epic poetry does. And there are two ways to interpret this poem. Number one, that we would never forget the bravery of the soldiers, but also it's important that the ballad form is there to remind us that we should learn a lesson from the mistake which led to the pointless death of so many soldiers. What about the structure? Quite complex. I go through this in much more detail in the actual poem um, analysis video, but in terms of structure, it's just important to know that the poem is mostly written in dactylic dimeter. Stressed syllables come at the end and middle of each line, followed by two syllables which are unstressed. And this is broken in the line someone had blundered because we have just one syllable after blun rather than two as in the rest of the poem. So the, the structure pattern is broken in this line to draw emphasis to the importance of this line, someone had blundered, which is Tennyson's subverted way of saying, look, I think, although I'm the poet laureate and I've got to toe the party line and present the national picture and, and be proud of these soldiers, I am drawing attention to the fact that there was a blunder, there was a mistake, there was a leadership error that led to these pointless deaths. And of course the word blundered came in the original news report which Tennyson read about this. So that's two examples of form and structure.